Hi everyone. I have Apple Watch Series 2 now and I already made some demo about swimming pool activities, indoor swimming pool. But it was very small one, like 150 meters. I, I wanted to try long activity, like one kilometer and see how it looks like and how it works. And I can now I can confirm that it works perfectly and it count the pools very good. I did 1000 meters, one kilometer and 25 meters swimming pool. And there was no any mistakes. It exactly count 1000 meters. Before I, I, I will show you this activity, I want to show some useful settings for swimming. When I run swimming application, I need to run with green workout application and find this pool swim. On this screen I can change the units from uh, meters to yards and back. I need to press and hold finger in the middle of the screen. And I can send, uh, set any pool size, zero meters I can add from one meter up to, let's try, maybe it's unlimited. Very big pool, 200 meters. Looks like there is no any limit. Maybe fun 500 meters is the limit. No, okay. Okay. When I press next, I can change uh, meters to yards again here. When I set the goal, again, press in the middle of the screen, change to the yards. Oh, back to meters. Time I can change and calories I can change units to kilojoules and back to calories. And when I start, I by default I can see only these four fields, but I can add more fields. It is in iPhone settings. Also, what I can do, because the screen is locked, but when I lock, unlock screen by rotating digital crown, I can mark segments. I can put some segments in documentation on Apple site. It's written it's not possible, but it really works. If I double click here in the middle of the screen, oops, yes, it's segment one, time and distance. After some time, I can do it again. For example, if you want to swim from one island to another and make it like one segment, if it's 300 meters between them, it's possible to do it. Let's try if it works with open water swimming. Yeah, segments works fine and we also have only time calories average pace and distance if i turn with digital crown i can, I can highlight different fields but i would like to see here for example heart rate maybe i don't care about calories now let me show you how to do it you need to do it with iPhone. 
when we run with watch application and we go to settings of the workout application here and there is this small multimetrics thing and uh, if we choose single metrics it will show only one field and with digital crown we can rotate it but for swimming it's not very it's not very useful because to rotate it we need every time we need to unlock it but let's try how it looks like for swimming only one field but we cannot change it because we need to unlock it first so when we unlock we can scroll through the different fields including heart rate distance like distance heart rate total coverage active coverage length average pace and time now let's try to choose instead of single metric multimetric and we have all, uh, all activities all workouts here and we can change different settings for different workout for example for pool swim by default we have duration active coverage length i want to delete active calories and replace it with heart rate I need to click with edit remove active calories by this red icon and add my heart rate what I wanted heart rate okay heart rate is here and if I want to move it on for example like second field I need to touch these three lines and drag and drop like, like this I put it here let's say it's done I can also add more field it's up I can add up to five fields for example else average pace why not click with green plus and uh, let's put it on third place here okay now I click done and let's see how it looks like on the Apple watch pull swim next start And now, yes, we can see all five fields, time, heart rate, average pace, length and distance. If I unlock it and scroll, I can highlight different fields. Let me show what kind of fields you can choose for open water swimming. It was pool swim. For pool swim. In total, seven fields. Duration, heart rate, average pace, length, distance, active coveries, total coveries. And for open water swim, it's seven less. It's only six fields duration, active coverage, average pace, distance, total coverage, and heart rate. Yeah, there is no lens because, of course, in open water swim, we don't have it. Okay, now, let me show you how one kilometer swimming looks like an activity application and what kind of statistic we can get from it. To see detailed statistics about my indoor swimming pool workout, I need to run activity application 
and go to workouts tab and there is my pool swimming on Wednesday 1000 meters freestyle what we can see here we can see active calories total calories distance total time average heart rate length pool length and average pace and when we click here we can see average pace for every 100 meters and you can see that first it was faster later it was a little bit slower and at the end it again was a little bit faster because I knew it it's only 100 meter left and I can do it more quickly let's say we can see it in dynamic and uh, I can confirm that it really count correct and from with 40 lens there was no any mistakes everything was counted well and yes it was freestyle thank you very much I hope it will be useful for you bye bye